Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the oil perfumery products that have been blowing up on TikTok. These are basically dupes for luxury perfumes for like I think about 10 bucks Canadian each. And I'm just going to review them for you guys and tell you if they're worth it or not. If they smell like the actual luxury perfumes now I don't have all the luxury perfumes with me but I have smelled them all before so I think I know them enough to tell you off of memory if they smell like the actual perfumes or not like right now I only have one of the perfumes right beside me which I will compare side by side but the rest is by memory however I think that we should be quite pretty good with that um, so yeah, let's get to it. Right here, I have eight of the oil perfumery perfume oils. These are all roll-ons, by the way. And I'm just gonna try them for you all. So the first one that I have is Nomad by Chloe. So this one, this one is a hard pass for me. Um, it just smells so like a grandma would wear it. It just doesn't smell really good, at least not in my opinion. It smells like Dove soap, but like a really, really intense version of Dove soap. But like, not that I have a problem with the smell of Dove soap or anything. I think it's a nice smell, but I think it's a nice smell for when you shower or wash your face or something like that. I don't think that you want to pass by someone and for them to tell you, oh, like, you smell like Dove soap. Like, I don't want that. Um, but if you're into that, then go for it. The next one we have is Gucci Bloom. Now, I'm obsessed with the real life fragrance version of this and I've been wanting to buy it for so long but I just like, I don't know, I guess I'm waiting for my birthday or something maybe my dad will buy it for me but yeah, <laughs> I don't know so, but I'm probably gonna buy it soon but I know the exact smell even though I don't have it because I'm so obsessed with it I always smell it in shops but let's see now this one smells very um very close to it but almost like a like something's missing like a cheap like it smells like a cheaper version of it and like i know that you get what you pay for but still like it's just something's missing here like it doesn't smell bad at all but it's almost more greenish, like a grassy green and like just something's missing but it's like more greenish compared to the real Gucci Bloom next we have La Via Belle which is a really popular perfume right now especially with women I mean, it's a woman's fragrance, but you know, if men want to wear it, that's up to them. Um, but yeah, so we have La Vie Belle um, by Lancome. Um, to me, this smells very, very, very close. This is like, out of all the eight that I have, this is the closest one to the actual perfume. It smells very close, and I've worn this... I think like four or five times now and it has very good projection um, but you do have to reapply it every two to three hours however like it smells exactly like the actual Livia Bell but like I said like all of these it's almost like some they have something missing in them you know like you can if I were to smell this on someone else, I could probably, not that I could tell, 
but I would be confused by the notes because I would be like, oh, that smells like La Via Belle, but it doesn't smell like La Via Belle. Yeah, that's basically my opinion on it, but it does smell good, you know, if you're actually looking for like a really, really cheap dupe for La Via Belle, it is really good. Um, but honestly, mostly I use these perfumes for layering myself. So there's that. The next one is the most anticipated one, which is Bacra Rouge 540. Now, the real perfume is, I think, it runs up to $600. Up to, not from, but, um, so yeah, it is pretty pricey. So most people try to look for dupes to like, buy instead of that. But this one, like, I can't describe how Baccarat Rouge smells like. It's just such a unique smell. It's just so natural, but it's just, I can't, like, describe it. It has, like, this saffron note to it, and it's, like, oceany, like, an ocean breeze. It smells kind of like that. But this, to me, smells not at all like Baccarat. It smells so pungent, like... It burns your nose and ears, like when you smell it. It is. It has this really pungent note. I just, I don't like this one at all. It's also very masculine. However, it does like, it does actually have very good projection if you do like the smell. Because I've tried it on and like, I could smell it while I was like waving my arms around throughout the day. It does have very good projection. The next one is... Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. Now this one, I have to say this is probably one of my least favorites out of all of them. It just smells so like a dollar store. It smells like a dollar store. It just smells it smells like if you mowed the grass at a dollar store. I know that's not a really odd thing to say, but like, that's what it smells like to me. I mean, but this one, I feel like, I feel like this one smells different on everyone because I tried it on myself and I, I hated it on myself. Like I, I wouldn't like it on myself. I wouldn't wear it, but I tried it on one of my other friends and it smelled really good on her so i'm not really sure if i like this or not i don't like it on me per se but i did like it on my friend so i think this one depends on your body chemistry i'm not sure about the projection of this one because i couldn't keep it on for long because i just really didn't like it on me and then we have Creed Love and White. Now this one, I, I have to say, I'm like not gonna lie, I really, really, really don't like this one. It just smells so, like it just smells like medicine, like something herbal, like it smells like herbs. I don't know how to describe it it smells like like herbs and like something very medicinal i just i don't think it's for me at all and to be honest it doesn't smell like the original and i don't really like the original anyway so to be honest i don't even know why i bought this i just wanted to see if they smelled similar um but they don't i don't like love and white like, I don't like the original perfume, and nor do I like this one. However, they don't smell similar at all. Now, if you wear Love & White, like, I'm sure you smell great. It just doesn't smell good on me. So, this is the one that I have the, I have the actual perfume right beside me. This is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. So, here I have the actual perfume.
it has a very floral smell very sweet and like citrusy notes like very faint citrusy notes that I can smell personally but mostly it's just very floral like very very floral if you like floral and sweet smells this you have to buy this now i'm gonna smell this one and compare it so i'm just gonna put this one on my arm and i'm gonna put this one on this arm i'm just gonna give them a bit to dry because I know like some perfumes just smell so different when they're still wet on your skin. Now, this is the original one. Um, this one, as I said, it's very floral. And this is the dupe. I mean, they are like maybe 60-50% similar. But this one is very... Like it has such a grass tone to it. It smells very much greener. Like it smells, it doesn't smell bad at all. I actually kind of like this one, but this one smells much greener and much more herbal than this one. It's almost like these are like flowers and then this is grass. That's what it smells like to me at least, but I do like it though I just don't think that they're a good dupe for each other um, however if you like really herbal floral greeny and fresh smells you should buy this it it doesn't smell bad at all it actually smells kind of good and that's my recommendation to you thank you guys for watching I hope to see you guys again soon Every product that I mention is linked down below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!